this video, I'm going to solve one more question that is based on a property corresponding angle and also applying its converse. So what should, uh, first of all, you should know what are corresponding angles. Let's say, for example, if I draw uh, two parallel lines and this being the transversal, so these are called the corresponding. These are one pair, the other pairs are these. This will be equal to this. And similarly, this will be equal to this. Likewise, uh, we'll have this angle as equal to this angle. These are called corresponding angle. And converse to this says that if you prove any pair of corresponding angle, the converse says that if you prove any one pair of corresponding angles as equal, then the lines are parallel. Well, needless to say that this is a transversal line. Right? The lines which the line which intersect two two lines are called transversal. So when I read the question, it says that a transversal intersect two lines such that the bisectors of their corresponding angles are equal. So make sure you read it properly. Here the lines are not parallel, but the bisectors of these two lines are parallel. So let me draw the figure, then it will more clarity will come. Let's say if I draw two lines, I need these two, two lines I've drawn, and I'm drawing a transversal. I'm drawing a transversal here. Let's say I've drawn this the transversal. So keeping in mind that let's say if it is PQ, this is RS and say this is the transversal, say I name this transversal as AD, while it is intersecting the two lines at point B and say C. Now keeping in mind that here, APQ is not parallel to RS. Instead, the bisectors of these, bisectors of these by that, it means to say that this line is drawn parallel to this line. Here, yeah, these two lines are parallel. So, if I name this point, say for example, if I name this as uh, BG, say BG and, or you can name it BE and CG. Here, yeah, these two lines are given parallel, and we actually need to prove PQ is parallel to. I must mention here in the given part. Uh, given here, you should write that what we have is BE as parallel to CG and what we need to prove is PQ parallel to RS. This is what we have to prove. Now, you know that a bisector divides the angle into two equal angles. So I name this angle one, say angle two, this has angle three and angle this has four. So here angle one is equal to angle three and this is angle two is equal to angle four, right? This is something which is given to us. Now I'm going to use this, but before that, let's say if I retrace this diagram partially like this, let's say this is A, B, C, D, this is E, and G, this is angle one here. According to the figure, I retrace this partially, not the whole of it. You can see that once these two lines are given parallel, therefore this angle and this angle are actually corresponding angles and the corresponding angles are equal when the lines are parallel. So this is what I'm going to use in this question. Let's say I can write, first of all, I'll write here that uh, since BE, is parallel to CG and AB being the transversal, I can write angle one is equal to angle two, right? Now we have angle one is equal to angle two. If I multiply two on both sides, the number numeric two here. Now why two here? Because as you know that in order to prove these two lines, that is uh, PQ parallel to RS, I must prove these angles as equal, right? So, and you know that one, right? Angle one and angle three are equal and angle two and angle four are equal. So multiplying or making them twice or doubling them will give you twice of angle one, as you can see from the figure can be written as angle ABQ. 
twice of angle one will be this angle ABQ. And likewise, twice of angle two is actually this angle that is two plus four, which is angle BC, angle BCS. This is angle BCS. Right, but what are these? But they are corresponding angles, right? The But they are corresponding angles uh, with respect to that's PQ and RS. PQ and RS. So therefore, we can say that PQ is parallel to RS. It's parallel to RS. You may write converse of corresponding angle exim. So this is how this question can be done. 